So my referring orthodontist, I've uh, been working with him for 15 plus years, referred this patient over to me, 13 year old male, concerned about the radiopacity in the right posterior mandible, uh, just apical to tooth number 31, 32 area right there by the uh, inferior alveolar canal. And so when I saw this Panorex, um, we asked if we could do a CT scan to get a three-dimensional look at this. And uh, I'm gonna show you that just in a second. Uh, but the patient wasn't having any symptoms. Uh, and my suspicion was a salivary gland stone, uh, not necessarily in the duct, but in the gland, uh, body of the gland itself. So here's the Panorex from the comb beam cat scan that we took in the office for the patient. And you can see how the radiopacity has moved basically inferior to where it was at on the original Panorex that the referring office sent over. Uh, so I don't think it's in the mandible based on that information alone. Now returning to the slices on the three-dimensional uh, CBCT. First one that I'm going to look at is this upper left hand side here and I'm just going to scroll down. I'm looking to see if where this radio opacity is and as you see it clearly comes into view right here on the right hand side and you can see it very distinctly and anatomically that is in the floor of the mouth submandibular gland uh, the body of the submandibular gland. And you can see down here on this view, right hand side, it's out there in the gland itself. A uh, little different view here. And let's see, does it show? Oh, and there it is on the three dimensional image, which is pretty cool. It looks like it's floating in space there. So, uh, sialolith in the body of the right man, uh, submandibular gland. So, to give you um, a heads up on what I discussed with the patient and the patient's parent. Uh, we asked about symptoms and I've already told you the patient was asymptomatic. I did a clinical exam and it was a bit unpleasant for him because I had to push pretty hard, but I went under the, I went under the inferior border of the mandible with my left hand and then I took my index finger of the right hand and pushed down in the floor of the mouth underneath the tongue. And as I pushed up with my left hand, and push down with my right, I could feel this stone between my fingertips. Uh, it was very prominent. Not tender, not giving them any, pay, uh, any problems, uh, no issues with swelling or pain during meal time. Uh, so I talked to him about just making sure he stayed hydrated and, and we weren't gonna do anything surgically at this point uh, because of the location and the, uh, the access uh, challenge there especially since he was asymptomatic, we were just gonna defer surgery. Uh, and they voiced understanding and, and wanted to go that route because they didn't wanna do anything anyways because he wasn't having any real problems. Uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on this with the orthodontist and his general dentist. And if there's changes, we'll obviously be able to go in and do something um, about that. A lot of times when they're in the body of the gland it, it, or, and they start having problems, uh, these things can't be fished out through the duct because it's not a ductal problem, it's a gland. Uh, it may get into the uh, opening of the duct at the body of the of the submandibular gland and cause a problem, so you have to take the gland out sometimes. But hopefully this young man won't have any problems with it and we'll just put it on here as a note uh, to keep, a, keep an eye on it. Uh, I found that interesting uh, and you've seen couple of other videos of sialolith removals on YouTube. Uh, I have one that's uh, pretty well viewed and um, a little different scenario, but I thought that was an interesting situation. Uh, and then I'm going to show you um, a, a little chart that I found interesting and I use from time to time just as a reference and I posted it in the YouTube community tab, so you can look in uh, the community tab on the uh, YouTube side and find it there. Uh, but it's a pathology chart for Panorex is about what shows up in what regions of a Panorex when you're screening a Panorex. And, I, and this plays right into it as being a sialolith. So uh, if you have any questions about this, please leave a uh, comment below.